Hi guys, today we are actually going to be reacting to NPR. Now today they are in the news because they played an abortion live on the air. So without further ado, let's begin. This patient is not one of the patients you heard before. She's asked that we not use her name. She's from Michigan. She already has one kid. She's having her abortion at about 11 weeks. Nearly all abortions in Michigan are before 13 weeks. Okay, so I want to stop you right there. We need a little bit of a background here. So for most of you guys that don't know, this is what a baby looks like at 11 weeks. This is what a, a baby looks like at 11 weeks old. The baby has feet, hands, a brain, a set of eyes, ears, and a body. At 11 weeks, you're about one third of the way through your pregnancy. That's disgusting to even be talking out about an abortion if you're about one third through the pregnancy. Let's resume. And like many patients at Northland, she said I could record her procedure. We're going to hear some of that now. Okay, so I am just going to get you set up on the table and we're going to do that sedation medicine. Okay. I'm going to pull this out under your legs. Most patients are partially awake during the procedures. They get IV medication for pain and anxiety. The lights are dimmed. There's soothing music. It actually feels a lot like a childbirth. The medical gown, your bare legs and stirrups, and a person next to you saying, you can do this. Use your hands and just keep breathing. That's Brandy. She's one of the staffers. Her job is to monitor vital signs, but it is also to hold the patient's hand and talk her through this. Whether it's a birth or an abortion, it is often women guiding other women. You're gonna hear this machine turn on now. Okay, it makes a loud noise. Okay. So the vacuum you are hearing is the abortion vacuum. They are holding the vacuum in one hand, and in the other hand, they are holding a pair of scissors where they're going to cut the baby up piece by piece while at the same exact time at, while at the same exact time sucking the cup parts into the vacuum like he is a crumb, like he is not worth anything more than a mess you left after eating dinner. If this doesn't make you sick to your stomach, I don't know what will. NPR, you are to blame for putting this out here. You're the one helping, you're the one that thought that you were helping the cause, but in reality, you're doing nothing but hurting it. I was pro-life before, but just hearing this vacuum seeing exactly what they go through to do this is very 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 disgusting and the fact that people do not know this is exactly what you do with the vacuum in one hand and the scissors in the other hand it just shows how society as a whole doesn't even know what the heck you're talking about let's resume Just keep breathing, Brandy tells her over and over. I can't, the patient says at one point, when the cramps get painful. Yes, you can, Brandy tells her. You're doing it. And then within just a couple of minutes, it's over. Take some deep breaths for me. Catch your breath. You did it. Thank you guys so much. You You are welcome. Oh, I hope I didn't do too, I didn't do too bad. You, you, you did great. <laughs> you did just fine. Yeah. Okay, so if you can hear, you can listen to the mom crying. Yes, this is the normal feeling that you feel after you just killed the person that depended on you for survival. You just killed your absolute ultimate happiness and sucked it up as in, in a vacuum cleaner. I had enough of this. We don't need to resume. This is the end of the NPR video whatever you want to call this satan worshiping i don't even know what the hell you want to call this but i'm done with this if you guys find this okay you have another thing coming in this life or the next <laughs>